Now, Japan has joined the list of nations that have landed on the moon after the US, Soviet Union, China and India. Now a Japanese craft called SLIM, that, that's short for Smart Lander for Investigating the Moon, is probing the Earth's satellite. And also to give us more perspective about Japan's historic success and also its unique mission, Vyond's senior correspondent Siddharth MP spoke to Ishii Yasuo, the vice president of the Japanese space agency JAXA, listening to what was said. Uh, we are very happy to, to have the successful landing of SWIM at the first, first uh, in history in Japan. And uh, we came, became a uh, fifth country in the world. And uh, uh, this moment was uh, watched by more than uh, 240,000 people through uh, the YouTube. And uh, 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 there was uh, kind of uh, excitement in the news and the media. And we had uh, many congratulations from uh, uh, many people, including the Prime Minister Kishida. So we're very happy to that. Japan has done something very, very unique and historic to target mm -hmm. a landing within a crater that is barely mm -hmm. 100 meters in size, a fraction of the usual landing size. What mm -hmm. are the benefits of this approach? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, so far, uh, we did not uh, uh, clarify uh, the, the precise uh, landing or not. Uh, we will confirm that through our uh, data. Uh, in may, maybe in a few weeks, uh, but uh, the, this uh, unique uh, uh, technology uh, very useful for us. Uh, we can directly go to the interested area on the moon, such as extraction of water from soil, resource mining, or science investigation. Uh, this means we do not need the long distance transportation system on the moon. We believe this is quite important technology for the future lunar activity. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.